Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344 with Coffee and Consciousness. And today uh, I'm going to bring up um, information about codes and how I decipher my codes. So when I do my cards and I tell you about my codes, you may not understand exactly what I'm talking about or for some it might sound like it's something complicated and it's not. It's not. It's just really about um, all your synchronicities that you normally get. Um, there are different ways you can produce more synchronicities or epiphanies or downloads for yourself. So when I do cards, um, we naturally get downloads from the pictures as they come together because they form different things as contrast against each other. And then uh, with certain decks, there are there are words on the cards and things like that. So anyway, in the Syrian Starseed deck, they're very big cards. So the words are very, of the names of the card are very large against my smaller decks. So when I put my clarification cards out and they cover some of those words, they create half words or numbers or, there's, but then there's a certain sequence um, of a message for me that I read across in these partial words across all of the whole read. And sometimes they're very direct messages, and sometimes um, I get epiphanies from the codes that I read, even though they don't, they don't mean anything specific by just reading them. I'll get a download, and that will be the message. Or sometimes I don't get any downloads from the direct message from the cards, and that's why I put it into the system to see what comes up in the headers, because that will then trigger me into other epiphanies or downloads. So I wanted to give you an example, because I want, I want you to practice doing this, if you're not doing it already, which many of you are, um, just an example of how to do this in order to trust what you're getting, okay? So my son's home, and he always likes me to do his cards for him. So I did my big spread with my Syrian cards for him last night um, to read codes for him. So we decided to sit down and, and really look at his codes and see what they mean for him. So in his read, and I asked him if he was okay with me sharing his read, and he said yes. So in his, uh, in his read, the codes came up very simple, actually much more simple than I would normally get for my general reads, which makes sense because I'm, when I'm doing a general read, I'm doing codes for many of you, as opposed to his read, I'm just doing it for him. And the code that came up was literally 9, phi, F-I, and then reflection. So right, and then the, the numerology card that came up was surrender, okay? So it was all about surrender. And nine and reflection, reflection in the Syrian Starseed deck is nine, it's the hermit. So nine is the hermit and reflection is the hermit. So now we have hermit, phi, hermit. And all right, so already we have the hermit reflecting itself, okay? My son being a hermit, which he is, he's on vacation, but he can be very much a hermit and just stay home when he's not working. So what does this mean as far as his surrender? And what does phi mean? And so my immediately download was fee fi fo fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. So number one, our last name is my married name, his father's name is English. So that was the first prompting for me. But what else did that mean? So you have to bring it up to the person that you're reading it for. So I decided to bring this to him and we sat down and I brought up the code and then what the headers that I got online to see what they trigger for him. Because of course the codes I receive and the messages I receive are gonna be different than what he receives from the same messages. So first when I asked him what he was getting from this this uh, direct code. Um, he definitely saw the hermit thing, you know, and, and being a hermit. Um, and when I brought up that I was getting fee fi fo fum, um, I smell the blood of an Englishman, he immediately went to um, Uh, Jack and the Giant. And I said, well, which one are you? And he said, oh, I'm Jack. <laughs> and I said, and why is that? 
And he was thinking about it for a minute, and I'm like, why aren't you the giant? And he's kind of just laughing at himself. But it was so perfect for me, It was because I've been trying to get him to meditate. But it's difficult for some of the guys to just sit and meditate. Some of them, it's not the right thing for them. You know, sometimes they're just, hiking is much more meditative for them than lying still and trying to meditate. So in trying to get him just to to see this perspective and, med and meditation, and he has been learning so much. We've been doing a lot of shadow work for the past couple of years. So he's learned a lot. And I was discussing with him how he sees himself as Jack when the giant is his higher self, trying to open him up to his, the greatness of him, okay? So then um, I read him some of the other codes. And one of the co other codes just had sub-genres in the title. And that immediately brought up for him um, the ghost of Christmas present, okay? So, and this, and this also brought, just brought up this morning, I was just thinking of this when I was bringing this up, um, the Muppets, because we used to watch the Muppet movies together. He used to love the Muppets when he was little, and he still does. He's just a big kid at heart. Um, but in the Christmas Carol Muppet movie, it's English, okay? So that's another thing about I Smell the Blood of an Englishman. But he, he immediately got, when he saw Jean run, Spirits Connecting with Me, he got a Christmas Carol, because there's different genres or different variations of it, Ghost of Christmas Present. And he literally says, yeah, the Ghost of Christmas Present. He says, come in and know me better, man. <laughs> and it was like so perfect. It was literally his higher self telling him to come in and know me better, man. The Jack and Giant and the Ghost of Christmas Present. And it's Christmas. <laughs> so it was really super perfect to teach him that lesson. But I wanted to give you this example so it's more um, simple for you and obvious. Um, the other information that came through for him was 9-11 came up in his codes. So he's Scorpio, death and transformation, rebirth were big as far as for him right now. And then tall women were coming up and he's in sports and he watches basketball. Women's basketball was coming up and tall women. And also, what is reflection as far as light? Two headings came up for him. Reflection definition for light and reflection definition for sound. But either way, it's all about the pivot point. Zero point, all right, in the infinity. That's the pivot point. So all of these things were coming up for him because of, the, because of his reflection of it, not mine. Okay, but I was able to translate that for him and make him see things in a new perspective. So this is the whole point of the codes and, and teaching others how to do it for themselves. And also, um, phi, when you put it in, one of the definitions of phi, not only is fidelity in coming in relationship, but also the Franklin Institute came up, which is a place that he slept over as a kid because they do that for school trips. And he slept over at the Franklin Institute. But not only was it that, but he had had a, an infected um, you know, boo-boo cut out of his leg and so he went, when he went to the Franklin Institute, he wasn't supposed to really be running up and down the steps, and his wound was ripped open. So here, we literally have a wound ripped open to clear, okay? So it was a great example that we went through together. So I'm hoping that's helpful to you. So then when I asked Spirit, so the second question has to do with why did I have to explain this to you guys? What is the significance of this? And the underlying energy came up as this. Okay, so we have, you see how these two guys, the King of Cups, and this is the Seven of Wands guy, see how they're watching to see what's going on over here? All right, and this could be me up here, the Hermit, because I'm Virgo, okay, and I'm shedding light on this right now, okay? It's about people watching. These are masculines over here watching, and also families watching. It's coming up. Family was a big topic today in the read. Here's the truth, you know, it's the sort of truth. This is like dreams on a stick, right? How to manifest your dreams. This is heaven in their eyes, okay? Some people say, they see this as illusion, but we as twins, okay, as star seeds, just in general, understand that this is what's real, right? Not the 3D, reality. So they're looking to see how, how are you going to manifest truth on a stick here, okay? 
and I'm shedding light on this, okay? That's the underlying energy that's being shown to you. So it's all about the masculines and family, because like I said, family, big time. The Ten of Pentacles came up a couple times in the read today. So masculines and family are watching you to see how you manifest your truth, how to create heaven in their eyes, synchronicities, dreams come true, heaven on earth. That sh and here, then the cards that came up for you guys were, this was the first card, was the Seven of, of Swords, okay, which is about feeling shame, and this is definitely the energy of the masculine right now, okay, feeling shame. Okay, and then we have the death card about transformation, all right? That came up in, for my son in our discussion last night. Deep transformation. Transforming shame. And here's the king of pentacles. Okay? Who is looking away now from the justice system. Okay? Not using the justice system, but looking away from that now. And instead offering love to the sovereign one, the girl of his dreams, okay? So do you see how this is working? Shame to be transformed as the king of pentacles looks away from the justice system and offers love to the sovereign one instead, the independent one, all right? The one who, who follows their own guidance as opposed to being governed by someone else. Okay, so then for the third question, I'm just going to say, so I haven't pulled these yet, so I'm going to say, what, do you guys, what is the third question? What do my viewers need to know about all of this? Between the codes and synchronicities and learning how to get your own personal messages. Okay, so what is it exactly that you guys need to know about all of this? And how to mess, how, how for you personally are you going to manifest heaven on earth? Because people are watching you. What is your message going to be? What do you need to know? All right, so what do you need to know? So the first card is perfect. Is a temperance card, but this is all about the angels. This always comes up for you guys when it wants to represent the twin flames, okay? And this came up in the read today, too, about taking one step at a time in very deep, still waters, okay? So what else do they need to know? What else do they need to know? What is the message? What is the message? Okay, the second card, all right? Being called to action, okay? Judgment. And in the read today, love, rain on me, came up. So this is very significant for the message for you guys, okay? Following your own guidance and passing on the messages to others. It's okay to toot your own horn when it's coming from a place of love. This card also wants to come up. The Ten of Cups. It's the holidays. It's all about family love, which was the other message that came up in the read today, truly. The whole theme was about the North Node in Cancer. It's all about family love and happiness right now, okay? So that's the answer for you. The bottom of the deck here now is the Two of Cups, okay? How perfectly beautiful. Let's see what's beneath it. Now these are all upright, so there's no reverses in this deck. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, okay? So we have Temperance, which is all about patience and balance, and the angels and your guides, taking one step at a time to hear the call and heed the call and share it with others. Pass on your downloads, especially at the holidays when you're with your family, okay? It's a perfect opportunity to share your love, okay? We have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, and just before that, look. So you notice there are two different families. This is the underlying uh, energy, okay, that I'm showing you. We had underlying energy of the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, 
and the jerk over here, right? Which most people see as taking people, other people down, but he's really the most, you know, vulnerable one, all right? He's protecting himself. He's standing in his truth no matter what, even if other people get hurt. So this is okay as long as you're being in your truth, but you also don't want to be mean. You want to be kind, okay? You need to be firm sometimes, but that doesn't mean you need to be mean like this picture depicts. But this is about, you know, she's looking away. We have this wealthy family here where the fa this is the older, the father, right? He's kind of ignoring everyone. And this guy is defending his, his money and his castle. And the Queen of Wands, like I said, often rep represents the sexy one, you know, the trophy wife. This is the guy, he's got a smug look on his face, he's arrogant. This was underneath, it's no longer that anymore. It's now this, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, more simple and grounded in her surroundings, very comfortable and happy. She has all the beauty around her. And the soulmates, they're coming together, seeing eye to eye. Okay? That's harmonious union. Okay? So a beautiful, very beautiful message for you guys. I hope that was helpful for you today. Have an amazing day, guys. Drink your water and rise and be loved. Bye.